This is video one of a two-part series that we're making here in central Tamaki Makoto, Auckland, all about bang for your buck, amazing food. We're gonna show our favorite places to go for a super affordable but super tasty meal. This is gonna have some amazing food. Like we're starting today with a place where everything is $8. The whole menu is eight bucks. An awesome restaurant. We're gonna have some Korean, we're gonna have some Italian, and then there's gonna be a whole nother part to this two-part series. So enjoy this one, check out the other video. Oh, there's gonna be some good food. I'm Thomas. And I'm Sheena, and we're chasing a plate. We hope you're hungry. Let's eat. We're in Ponsonby for our first stop. We're heading to this hidden doorway. We're heading up to Lucky 8. This is such a cool restaurant. So everything is eight bucks. $8 plates of food, $8 cocktails, $8 house beers and glasses of wine. And it's all Asian inspired small plates. The food is great, let's head in. There's nothing like this in Auckland, let alone New Zealand. So yeah. tell me about the concept. So it's really interesting, right? Yeah, everything's eight dollars, yeah. So like that's everything. Yeah. yeah. Um, cocktails, house wine, house beer, and then all the food. Yeah, we kind of tried to play around with it, right? At times we were saying lucky 13 and maybe, <laughs> yeah, like the unlucky 13 menu as well. But then when we came to actually making the menu, we could actually produce pretty good stuff. For eight dollars. So when we first started, we didn't know exactly what we were going to be able to make for that, and it was just kind of a trial and error thing. <laughs> and I think we got to a decent kind of job from it and doing it. Yeah. So loads of Asian influences. Yeah, lots of kind of food that I like as well, and it's kind of like our personal journey of what we like to. This restaurant's kind of what I want to go to as a place, you know. So that's yeah. Like fun. Exactly. Like communal. Yeah. And um, just. Like good, like good vibes, good fun, yeah, and then also like at night time and stuff, we like the music, you know, a little bit loud, a little bit rowdy, just so you get that night buzz or that night feel. This place has a great vibe, low lighting, this awesome bar in the middle, skewers, dumplings, noodles, we're going to order a whole bunch of stuff and then head into the kitchen and see what they're cooking up. We love getting to take you behind the scenes and get a sneak peek into these kitchens. So, everyone's really calm in here. It's just so methodical. Everyone's um, at their stations. There's so much going on. So I can see, I think, chilies and pork in the wok over there. There's a steamer going with all the dumplings on the steamer. And then over here, we've got uh, skewers on the grill, dripping with meat juices and fat. Wow. Oh, so it's great because the kitchen is open until midnight. So from five to midnight, you can come in, get some great eats, have a few drinks. It's such a neat concept. Whoa, -ho -ho, look at that. <laughs> Cocktails have arrived. I got the Viet Dragon, which is um, a, a, a take on an espresso martini. And look at that bubble over the top. That's so spectacular. Tom has got soul sipping. More food, thank you. That looks great. Yeah, just chuck it down. Wonderful. I'm excited by this spread in front of us. We've got skewered chicken wings, spinach and peanut salad, pork belly fries, uh, lamb ribs, beef dumplings, spicy and sour cucumber salad, this tender looking uh, beef cheek, uh, egg drop tofu, golden crunchy prawns, steamed abalone, this uh, banana leaf salmon, and chili chicken. So a whole array of cold and hot dishes. How is this for a concept? I think it's great. Everything eight bucks. So you can you can dive in and load your table up like we have. We've gone all out to show you heaps of dishes at once, or you can order a few at a time. You can order repeats of dishes if you really love something, you know, because it's so affordable. So you can just keep tapping away at the menu, all you want, you want, grab more cocktails. You can get some pork belly fries. Whoa, a, a piece of deep fried pork belly, you know, like far out. That's always going to be good, but that's what I love about this food. It's snacky food, it's small plates, it's, it's for a crowd to just dive in and like pick away, enjoy the night, chat. The environment in here is, is totally keyed up for that too. We've got the music pumping, you know, it's a fun place to eat. 
Oh man. That sweet and sour tofu. Oh, that's delicious. Creamy tofu. Very strong sweet and sour sauce. So think that sweet and sour pork. It's got that sort of hit going on. Oh yeah. Ripped apart that super tender black pepper beef cheek. Oh, black pepper, beef, match made in heaven, and the, the beef cheek just falls apart. Mm. Yum, that's really good. I love the variety in the menu. So there's a lot of premium ingredients available here too. So you've got this dish with the abalone, there's prawns, there's this piece of steamed salmon, and there's also varying cuts of meat. So Thomas has just dived into the beef cheek, there's lamb ribs over there. So this is abalone steamed with um, soy sauce, ginger, um, and spring onion. Mmm. It's shaved super thin. So it's very tender. I love that combo of soy, spring onion, that crunch and fragrance of that spring onion. Delicious. Okay, what's next? The prawns, I reckon. So crispy, golden, crunchy prawns. I'm going to dip that into the kewpie, I think it is. Mm. Mm hmm. It's exactly what you want it to be. Big, fat, juicy prawn, crispy, crunchy outside, and then that mayo. So good. So I ordered this cocktail, which has got vodka, um, coffee liqueur. It looks very creamy. Ooh, quite strong too. If you like creamy cocktails, that's the one to go for. I think it's called the, the Viet Dragon. I love this vibe. Always packed, great staff, the food is fun to eat and it's delicious. Our next spot is a hop, skip and a jump down Ponsonby Road. We're heading to Oki for Korean food. I absolutely adore this place. This food transports me straight to Seoul. Let's head in. All of the food at Oki is absolutely delicious, but we're here for lunch. And at lunch they serve dubap, which are these affordable stir fries on rice. Absolutely scrumptious. We're heading straight into the kitchen. The smells in this kitchen are really good. Oki is led by Chef Lisa Hi. Lee and her partner in business and in life, Minky Lee. So, owned and operated. These guys are so passionate about what they do. So much love and care goes into the food. With Korean cuisine, there's a ton of fermented elements in the food and Chef Lisa ferments everything herself. So we've got um, on the go, Jason's just on the tools at the moment. He's making us a gochujang chicken rice bowl and then I think I see some bulgogi, which is thinly marinated beef as well. The food here is so flavoursome, like it smacks you around the face with its vibrant flavours. And if you see this chicken here, it is bubbling away in this gochujang. Um, gochujang is fermented red chilli paste. Yum, yum, yum. Time to plate, so a bowl of Korean black rice and then the bulgogi which is the beef is going on top. Go ahead Jason. So the bulgogi is marinated in soy, um, sugar, Asian pear which gives it a sweetness. Mmm, so good. Lisa is just putting some fermented, no, or pickled radish. Yeah, just pickled radish. Yeah. Onto the bulgogi and how long does that ferment for? It's at least a one month. One month? Yeah. So, like the pickles, the kimchi, Lisa prepares for the shop or for the restaurant. Look how pretty it is. <laughs> Lisa is plating up the gochujang chicken. So saucy, a little bit fiery. So we've got sesame leaf that's going to go on and then some seaweed. Look at this table of colour. We've got 
bulgogi dubap, so the marinated beef on the rice with the pickled radish. We've got the dak gogi, which is that gochujang chicken, so a little bit of heat in there. Um, pickled radish, seaweed, perilla leaf, or the sesame leaf on rice. We couldn't resist a plate of their Korean fried chicken, which we've had before, and it is amazing. That's got a spicy soy sauce over the top. And then these guys have a load of vegan and vegetarian dishes on the menu. So we also got a, a bibimbap. So this is a vegetarian bibimbap. Mushroom, zucchini, bean sprouts, carrots, onion on rice. Giving it a good mix up. So this is the gochujang chicken. And like with a lot of Korean dishes, they're all about the mix, so you've got to really combine them up, mix all those ingredients together. Now, we've obviously ordered a bit more here than you normally would. You'd normally just come for a, a bowl, and you might add some fried chicken. We wanted the extra bowl to show the, the vegetarian, vegan options they have as well. So that's why I've sort of got an extra bowl on the table. The man alive. These smells, everything that's going on here. Absolutely love this place. They just do great food. Mm. Oh wow. Oh, they got you, Jung. So it's a spice paste and it gives a ramp of chili, but it's, it's not overriding. It, it doesn't destroy you. It's just a nice hit. Mm. There's a sweetness in there. There's a sourness from the pickles. There's a crunch from the pickles. The chicken is super tender. Far out. Mm. That's a bowl of food that makes me happy. It's full of color, it's full of flavor, it's full of punch. Wow, oh, that is delicious. And time for a bit of fried chicken. Mm. Oh man. Mm. We got spicy soy, so again, a spice hit, but not not so much that it kills you, just a great hit. But a sweetness, a saltiness from the soy, that crunch on the outside. I mean, Korean fried chicken, right? It's, it's unbeatable. And so it's a perfect combination with this. It goes really well as a side with the bowls. Oh, I love Korean fried chicken. How good is this? So for about 20 bucks, you get this bowl of quality food. It's satisfying, it's comforting, and you've got like, a, there's a ton of beef in this bulgogi dubap. With the bibimbap, which is just vegetables, carrot, zucchini, mushroom, onion, bean sprouts, you've got this gochujang, the ch chili paste to stir in there. Like, it's um, soul satisfying food. Get into this. Mmm. Mmm. Holy moly, this is good. It's really mellow. It's chilled out. Um, sweetness from the pear, which has been used to marinate that beef. It's really tender. Um, soy, sugar. It's a really subtle dish. It doesn't smack you around the face like the fiery gochujang chicken that Thomas is eating. This is just chilled out. It's comforting. It's so good. From Ponsonby, we've now made our way to Karangahapi Road. I mean, what an iconic place to eat in Auckland. And I mean, there are so many strips of great, affordable eating in Auckland. Thousands of options. Tamaki Makoto is spoiled for choice. So it's really fun coming up with um, some options of our favorites for where we go for super affordable, great value, fun places to eat. Now we're heading into St. Kevin's Arcade. Such a neat, like, look at this. It's beautiful in here and it's packed with good foods. We're going to Peachy and they do fresh pasta made daily, great value, it's a great environment. It's just, it's the whole package. It's such a fun place to eat and I cannot wait for this pasta. It looks so good. The pasta is made fresh every day here at Peachy. I'm just hanging out with the team Rolling peachy, it's my first time rolling peachy. Um, I'm hanging out with chef and co-owner Jono Thevenard and Kia here and they're teaching me. Um, tell me, let's talk about peachy, what's the ethos here? 
Ethos is sort of, it's kind of bred from the idea of, you know, traveling through small places and just like humble little chatterias where people would eat regularly. Um, you know, trying to keep it sort of basic and trying to keep it, um, yeah, try, like just trying to like encapsulate that, that small town like restaurant that is like focusing on pasta yeah. and we're just trying to like do what we can in the space mm. without trying to be, you know, what would say, you know, the best chef in the world or trying to create the food that's considered like the best. We just want to do stuff that's great mm. and simple. So we have six pastas on the menu. Um, trying to sort of like tickle the boxes of what people would like, yeah. you know, seafood one, vegetarian, yeah. vegan one. Um, and we kind of like to just, you know, let the ingredients do the talking. So peachy is this fat spaghetti and it's the name, the name of the restaurant. Um, it's also, is it your most popular dish on the menu? Yes. So yeah. the peachy is, um, served cacio e pepe, so cheese and pepper, one of Rome's most famous pastas. Simple perfection, but so freaking hard to get right. I have tried a number of times <laughs> with varying degrees of success. Um, and we can't wait to eat peachies, peachy. <laughs> peachies, peachy. <laughs> It's all about the pasta here at Peachy. I'm just peering over these guys' shoulders, watching that pasta coming out of the boiling hot water, straight into the pan. There's pappardelle, there's Peachy. We are gonna order up a bunch of dishes to showcase what these guys are creating here. Here we go, How colourful is this table? It is absolutely beautiful. We've ordered a bunch of starters to share. So we've got focaccia. This is um, the bread that was baked fresh this morning. We've got bitter leaves, showered with cheese. There's octopus carpaccio, so sliced super thin with uh, basil oil, olive oil, capers, and then look at this beetroot. Sliced super thin, served on top of stracciatella. A couple of glasses of wine, and the pasta is going to come later. Oh yeah. I've loaded up this focaccia with the beetroot and the stracciatella. Mm. Mm. That is so good. The beetroot is so sweet, vibrant. The bread is sensational. It's pillowy inside. We've got that crispy, crunchy crust. And then the cheese, wow. Mm. <laughs> Our pasta has arrived. How good is this? So for under 20 bucks you can get this beautiful fresh pasta that's been handmade this morning. I mean some of that peachy might be stuff that I've rolled which is pretty amazing. Look at it. Look at it. Yum! Mm. I truly don't understand how four ingredients, so cheese, pasta, water, black pepper, turns into this. It's pure alchemy. The pasta has a great bite. It's very peppery, so hugely strong on the pepper. Zingy in the mouth and beautifully creamy, so creamy. This is just such a fun place to eat. Super intimate, great people, great food. Eating here is it's a visceral experience, you know, you're breaking bread apart with your hands, olive oil's dripping down your elbows, you're slapping it through cheese, it's just fun and engaging. Look at this fettuccine, another stunning dish. Stunning in its simplicity. So nduya, which is a spreadable pork sausage. It's covered in um, sourdough focaccia, the bread that we've eaten, but it's covered in the bread crumbs from that. Fettuccine that again we saw get made this morning. How cool is this place? I mean, this is the entire restaurant that you can see around me. It's a intimate place. Kitchen's right here. It's all action. You feel so part of the food eating here.
Wow. Oh, pasta is perfectly cooked. A hit of spice, some crunch from the from the breadcrumbs on top. Oh, the seasoning. This has been an epic meal. I mean, seriously good food and so great to be coming out. Like for this plate of pasta, you're under 20 bucks. You're in this great environment, great wine list, awesome staff. Like what a cool place to eat along with all the other places we've eaten in this video. And remember, there's gonna be a second part to this video, so watch the second one if you haven't seen it yet. We hope you enjoyed this one. We've loved everything. Get out there. Tamaki Makoto is just covered in great places to eat. We are spoiled for choice. Get into it. Oh, I can't wait to finish this plate of pasta. <laughs>